Legend has it, you don't fight world-ending villains in your morning PJs. Unless you're Billy Batson, of course, because he gets an instant suit shipped to him by lightning. To beat villains, you gotta match their shit. That means training harder than them, finding powers faster than them, and in some cases, having plot armor thicker than theirs. When it comes to DC superheroes, their transformation scenes look so damn cool that you think you've already won the battle. So today, we're gonna look at the best Justice League transformation scenes that got us like Doomsday Got Superman. Let's go! We're starting off the list with DC style, dark and awesome. Victor's transformation into Cyborg has to be one of the most painful and uncomfortable transformations on the big screen ever. Cyborg wasn't a choice, it was a necessity. And that's what makes it so awesome, you see. Elite teenager Victor gets into a freak accident and becomes pretty much dead, but it's his scientist father's desperation that brings to him his gift, or as Victor thinks initially, a curse. Dr. Stone finds the mother box linked with Superman's ship and activates it to bond with Victor and give him unlimited and endless energy. This was super painful to watch because Victor wouldn't want to go through the pain and neither did his father know that he'd succeed. It was a gamble, but it did pay off. The source keeps Victor going, but at the cost of a normal life, or death, I suppose. You know that there's this long-running joke among comic book fans. Give Batman enough prep time and he'll bring down the entire pantheon of DC gods and villains all by himself. And you know why this is a long-running joke? Because it's true. Well, at least this time it is. On paper, Batman is no match for Superman, but a man's got to fight, hasn't he? So he goes through a brutal grind session that'll put bodybuilders and scientists to shame. Yet his exercise is both physical and mental. He grinds hard during the day, picks up mind-blowing weights like a piece of cake, does some more push-ups, and totally shreds their muscles. But at night, he's planning, plotting, researching, and doing his PhD in kryptonite engineering. Batfleck totally nailed the Batman physique, and I'd pay anything to see this version of Batman fighting Tom Hardy's Bane. The montage is so cool as well, pumping with excitement, and that bomb background music makes you want to hit the gym right away. I almost did though, <laughs> then I realized I'm not Bruce Wayne, and in my world, Superman didn't destroy Metropolis. Sad. <laughs> Singing eye. Flash in Justice League was meh, but Flash in the Snyder Cut was amazing. Part of the reason why the Snyder Cut clicks it is because it puts Barry at the center of the most crucial moment. After all, he did run faster than time itself to save the world. But we are talking about transformations here, so I'm going to keep it to the moment Barry saves Iris from the car crash. That was some poetic shit, wasn't it? So Barry Allen, being Barry Allen, is looking for a job. For the Scarlet Speedster, he's pretty late and clumsy in his day-to-day -day life. He meets Iris driving a car at the crossing and the two distract each other. The only difference is that Barry's standing inside a shop and Iris is driving a car downtown. You know those traffic ads you see on TV? You know, the ones that say, keep your eyes on the road or you might just die. And death should have greeted Iris that day had it not been for Barry transforming into our favorite speedster and saving her in time. Snyder's slow motion art is beautiful to look at. Barry breaks the glass and runs with speed force. Time just stops around him. Iris floats in the air. Barry does PDA and boom, saves the day. It was one of the first most beautiful transformations of Barry in the movie and it just sticks with you. Also, the romance here is real. See, in times of crisis, for dog work, I always bring a meat snack, right? I start on Monday. Now this is fan service at its best. Seeing Martian Manhunter dropping by in Justice League was so cool and more than anything it was quite surprising. So Lois is pretty much still shaken after her boyfriend died so her would have been mother-in-law pays a visit to tell her to basically just move the fuck on because you know YOLO. It was a sweet moment, pretty emotional but it didn't just end there. Martha leaves Lois's apartment and she suddenly starts changing into a familiar member of the Justice League. The dark eyes, the cloak, the unforgettable skin color, it is 
Martian Manhunter, and he's in the DCEU. This was a super cool transformation and introduction, but Mars Guy also reverts back to his human disguise, and it turns out that he was General Calvin Swanick all along. Martian Manhunter drops by again at the end of the film to say hi to Bruce Wayne. He's like, I have powers as awesome as Superman and Wonder Woman and then some, but I'm going to let you sort your issues out with Darkseid before I join for the second round. It was weird, but fans have long suspected Swanick to be the Martian. To see Snyder listening to the fans, well, that's just amazing. Oh, and some have called me the Martian Manhunter. Shazam? Yes! Carry my name! Now, this is some transformation, isn't it? Billy Batson's one superhero who has to properly transform into someone else to fight villains, and that's why his transformation scene is legendary. There's an entire legend about this, and it is the most elaborate and memorable transformation. The Council of the Wizards chose the wrong guy to represent them, and they were off to a rocky start. Pfft, pun very much intended there. But to slay a Black Adam, you need an equally powerful good guy, a kid. Don't get disheartened seeing Billy though, he does have all the virtues to hold the power of... That was a mouthful, because Shazam is uber powerful. So the last time old wizard finally let a kid touch his stick and let his power flow through him? Yeah, that does sound gross, Billy. But thank goodness he followed through, he said the name and the lightning struck to instantly transform him into everyone's favourite, Captain Marvel. What? Come on. I love the OG stuff. Anyway, Shazam's transformation is one of the most iconic moments in the entire DCEU. And each time Billy becomes Shazam, man, I'm reliving my childhood. <laughs> oh. Come on, if you can find me a hundred miles in the middle of nowhere, you think that you can... No! Now, here's a film that DC fans love to forget if it weren't for the epic transformation scene. Before Ryan Reynolds upped this superhero game with Deadpool, he had a trial run with the Green Lantern. And suffice to say, it wasn't his best solo outing. Having said that, you've got to give credit to how Hal Jordan becomes Green Lantern. Hal gets his ring after a lantern crashes on Earth. And as karma would have it, Hal ends up in a coma and his bonding scene becomes really extraordinary. Just like Victor, there's a sense of pain uncertainty and total chaos but everything turns out great as Ryan Reynolds opens his weird blue eyes. Granted the CGI suit has been the butt of jokes for years but hey it was good at the time wasn't it? Cut Ryan some slack okay because the suit definitely didn't. make a guy who wears orange and green and talks to fish cool. Easy, just throw a Jason Momoa at them. Arthur turning into the one true king has to be the most era defining moment in the DCEU because no one, and I'm saying literally no one, thought live action Aquaman could be this cool. But he is, and he's right here. So Arthur gets yeeted around by King Atlan's personal bodyguard, but Curry needs his chutney. Um, I mean his trident, sorry. It's the only way he can fight the villains, and let me tell you this, they come in dozens. So Arthur does a marvel and gives a rousing pep talk to himself. He goes to take the trident of the sea world and ends up getting a new suit built for him. A wet Jason Momoa coming out of a waterfall with skin tight orange green suit. Yeah, that's the one true king, I know. Atlantis has always had a king. Now I need something more. What could be greater than a king? A hero. A king fights only for his nation. You fight for everyone. We need to help these people. We have to stay on mission. This is no man's land, Diana. No, but it's what I'm going to do. You knew it was coming, didn't you? A DC superhero transformation list wouldn't mean shit if it didn't include Diana's No Man's Land heroics. It's truly a masterpiece. When mere mortals like Steve Trevor talk about guns and challenges, you need a batshit crazy woman like Diana to put up her crown and go on a rampage. Diana knows the cost of standing between two armies firing at each other, but she still does it. Her bracelet and her shield step up their game and stop Diana from getting cooked. At first, she walks slowly in utter disbelief that she's doing it, she's staring down death, then she blocks one bullet, one becomes a hundred, and she starts running towards the enemy. It was such a powerful scene with cinematic slow motion camera work and lit background music that we just had to include it. Ah! 
Now, this wasn't a transformation scene. This was more of getting to know what your powers are. Clark always knew he was special, didn't he? But to what extent? He didn't know. So when he finally finds his father's ship and hears that epic monologue from the hologram of his dead father, Kal-El goes into Operation Overdrive and fully embraces his powers. He literally flew like a plane and moved like a bird. Because of course, he is Superman. Man of Steel Superman scene not just looks good, it's also the most memorable one. Snyder's aesthetics made it a free-flowing, highly dynamic montage of amazing shots. The kind of shots that make you leave your car and fly in the air. Clark went at it like the kid who just got his driver's license and it looked gorgeous AF. They will join you in the sun, Cal. In time, you will help them accomplish wonders. Why bats? Bats frightened me. This time my enemies shared my dread. <laughs> Now, so far, each of the Justice League members has gotten one entry on this list, except one. Batman. You know why? Because... I'm Batman. Jokes aside, Batman's transformation scene in Batman Begins truly stands the test of time. It's filled with jaw-dropping technology, a tense build-up, and that Christian Bale swagger. Seriously, dude knows how to charm as Bruce Wayne. Anyway, Alfred and Fox are demonstrating one tech after the other. Some are highly illegal, and some are completely confidential. But when a billionaire like Wayne asks you for stuff, you just give it, don't you? But I'd also like to go back to the moment when Ra's al Ghul absolutely crushed Bruce in the training session. He not only dropped blows on him, he also landed some heavy words, like this one. Your parents' death was not your fault. It was your father's. The way he betrays Bruce and breaks him from the inside gives us the Batman Gotham needed. Justice League heroes are truly an iconic part of our childhood, so when we see them coming to life on the big screen, it makes for a fascinating watch. What's your favourite DC superhero transformation so far? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you'd like to see more transformations, do comment down below. I might pick you up on that. Until then, do your part in growing the community by liking the video, sharing it with your friends, and killing the subscribe button the moment you see it. Ciao.